What's up, guys? I'll be over there in a second. Got to take care of some stuff on the computer. Thanks for joining in, guys. I'll be right over there. Sorry, I had something to take care of on the computer before I jumped on live. As soon as I jumped on live, I had to take care of it. So bear with me real quick. Mike, you want to be just like me when you grow up? I'm trying to get myself situated here, man. <clears throat> I won't be able to read the comments because my phone's recording. I don't, I don't, uh, can't see the comments from the computer screen all the way there, but here we go. So if you're just tuning in, you know I'm doing a demo build with a 2000 Astro van. And we're going to put some kickers in there and get loud. So, let's see. You already know what the woofers look like. We'll stick one here on the table so you can see it. <coughs> so we got the Solo X12. I just wanted a box to show you guys some of the cool stuff that we've got for the build. We've got some wire here, some 8 gauge, 12 gauge, 16 gauge, and 4 gauge. So we'll line these up. to this size. 
So we got some speaker, uh, what do we got, 8 gauge power wire here. That's the power wire I'm going to be running as speaker wire. So we're going to have a blue and a black. Those are the two colors that Kicker carries on their wire. We got the 8 gauge power wire slash my speaker wire. Make a mountain of boxes over here. Power wire. We got some one up power wire here. Some ground wire. There we go. All the wires. We're going to be doing 16 12 in a six folder band pass in the van. get down low, hopefully, I think these won't have any problems for sure, because I've been messing with one this morning just to see uh, the excursion on them. It's pretty wicked. Pretty cool to see a square sub over go that far. I know the guys at Sundown were pretty impressed. Well, Kevin, um, they do have, from what I was told, I don't know if it's been public, but they do have a uh, new war horse coming out. And that's what we're going to be running in the van, some war horse amps. I believe they're going to do a series called the war horse series versus just one big amp. So they're going to have different, different uh, line of uh, war horse amps. Start off around 3,600 watt war horse amps and then I guess carry it up. So it's going to be the war horse series. That's what we plan on running in here. Uh, my goal is to uh, both get, get the suspension work done next to ensure that it can handle all that weight because Astro vans have got leaf springs in the back. I just want to make sure that this is going to be safe to drive places. This is not wire. This is some bids. I'm going to have a street line for their bids. The street series mids. These are really nice. That's what they look like. They're square mids. Four ohm and eight ohm. That's what they come in, I believe. Compared to a box, so these suckers are pretty heavy. 250 watts RMS, 500 watts peak. Pairs here. I'll get this box to move here in a second. Ah, let's see what else we got here. We've got some more mids, some more street mids. So we've got these are seven inches. They do come in seven and nine inch mids street series. I will say, 
One thing Clippo never had was a good set of mids and highs. I had some in there, but we never really went to the extent of making those good because we always had a problem with them, either messing up the cones inside the cabin. So, all this is going into the demo van. We coined it Wasted Information. Uh, you can go on YouTube and type in the search bar Wasted Information Kicker, and that's where I got it from. Some of you guys probably already know what I'm talking about. Anything under 40 hertz, anything under 30, 40 hertz is wasted information. And my plan is to put nothing but under 40 hertz in a demo build. So it's kind of just a, a fun thing, a fun pick, the kicker. So. I said we got a large stack of mids over here. <laughs> Let's see, what else we got? Wire, one gauge. Zero gauge. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully, uh, if I have room for all these. If not, I'm sure we can build a pretty cool stunt wall in the back for some buffaloes underneath and behind the van. We want to be able to be here, heard, and felt when we do demos. Good. Nice. Let's see what these are. This is a heavy little box. Tall. Oh, telephone. Oh, yeah, phone call. How do you wait, Max? Um, that would be something I need to call Roger about in Crossfire to check and see if he has any in stock. Majority of the time, if we don't have it here, we can just give him a call to get a drop ship for you. Um, let's see here. What size? What's your uh, email? I'll message uh, Roger over there at Crossfire and um, see if he's got any stock and then uh, I'll email you and if that's something. How many are you looking? Yeah. All right, 2XT Pro 8 forums, right? That's it, homie. I'll, I'll give you an email. Shoot you over email, okay? Yeah, no problem. Let's see if they might say anything. Can we see some free air? Kevin, yeah, definitely, dude. I'll free air. Uh, 
I'll free our solo here once we uh, we get the rest of the stuff unpacked. Uh, oh, Kevin, uh, I've actually on my Inst on my Instagram. Yeah, on my Instagram. Check out my Instagram. Straight flipping. S T S T R eight C O P N. Of course. And uh, I've got some. I've got one of the solo X 12s freeing on 20 hertz. If you want to check that out. Back over here. I think this is my first live on YouTube. I don't expect much out of it. I just want to get up here and get live just to get some of those live time for YouTube. Let's see what we got here. Oh, some kicker um, RCA cables. A ton of them. I'm going to stack these bad boys right here. If you're wondering why I have so many RCAs, because we're going to have four channel amplifiers, 16 sub amplifiers, got fuse blocks, got um, ground distribution blocks. I'll bring some up there in a second to show you guys up close personal. Got some six filters, nine filters. All kinds of good stuff. Battery terminal. Show you some of the products that they got here. So of course your RCA cables, basic RCA cables, they look really nice from the the braiding and stuff on the wires themselves. Those are pretty cool. These are the Q series. Then we've got the kicker brass hardware. Let me get up here. Brass hardware, this is for our ground. We're just gonna do some grounds with this. I've got a few of those. And a kicker terminal the battery some cool stuff RCA cables nothing crazy just the basic stuff that you need to do a build and we're doing it properly um, there's a whole box oh, here you go here's a whole box of uh, RCAs for the build so that's pretty cool we've got an entire box of fuses I am running fuses on the build because I just think that's important to represent Kicker and not have any issues, and why not? Because they're Kicker branded uh, fuses. That's pretty cool. So we've got a box full of fuses. Street series seven inch mid range two per two per box. So I'd say we got quite a bit of these guys to fill in some room inside the cabin. So 
over here. So we're going to have quite a bit of those guys in the build. Turn it around here. Grab the camera. I can see some of y'all's. Solo X. We got 17 of them. I'll order an extra one just in case. I also like to put this out in front of the build on a display so people can actually physically touch it at the show, see what it looks like. Um, just stuff like that. That's stuff I enjoy. When somebody has a build and you can actually physically touch the product in front of the vehicle or see it, what you're actually hearing. So really nice rubber. I don't know the technical term, but this is surrounds really nice. I like the ribs. Um, the subwoofer is actually serviceable in field, meaning that if you blow this at a show, you can just take the sub out and recone it right there on the spot. You don't need any glue or anything like that. Um, looking through my mess here. I've got a recone kit somewhere, somewhere over here. The kicker is thrown. The kicker has literally thrown up <laughs> over here. Oh, here, see, I covered it up. So, let me show you guys. So, for the one, the one watcher, let me show you. <laughs> it's all good. I'm just doing this just to have relevance on YouTube. So, do me a favor, that one person that's watching, smash that thumbs up. <laughs> so, this is the actual um, recone that you get when you go recone, uh, when you buy a recone for your Solo X. Now, it is brought to my attention that if you own a D2, you have to run the D2 um, recone. You can't put a D1 recone in here because of the top plate, just the way it's all machined just for that coil. So just to let you guys know if anybody cares. But So pretty much your recone is gonna drop in from the top, of course. Dust cap's already on there, so you don't have to fiddle faddle with that dust cap being glued on and then you've got these holes right here in the back of the motor now they give you these like acupuncture needle things you stick these inside the holes here and then you rest it sitting down like this with those needles sticking in there and then you actually put the recone in and those needles are going to perfectly align between between the coil and the pole so it's perfectly aligned. So that's, what's, that's what that's about. Once you get that all aligned, as you can see, there is threaded uh, nuts there. This is all bolted back together. Zero glue is involved in this whole recone process. So pretty cool, if you ask me. Um, here's the coil, what the coil looks like on the Solo Xs, on the D2s. Pretty, pretty cool. Yes, like filler gauges, exactly right. Yep, that's pretty nice. I mean, um, if Kicker is giving you a kit to do it yourself, I am pretty sure that they did all everything possible to make this very easy for the consumer to do themselves, if that makes sense. Well, this coil right here, um, to be very honest with you, we opened up one of these boxes and showed Jacob Fuller over here at Sundown Audio, and he was really impressed with the coil uh, and the whole entire the whole entire assembly itself. Uh, but he said that's uh, that's equivalent to one of our our Sundown X X coils. So he has good faith in it. We put one on the test bench. Um, I posted on my Instagram at Straight Clipping. So if you want to go see it at 20 hertz flopping around, it's it's definitely moving, so. <clears throat> I was gonna show you, oh, here. Check this out, guys. We've got some of these tweeters. Definitely, man. I would love to get my hands on some of those 18s, to be honest with you. I'm sure those 18s are gonna be pretty freaking cool. So this is your tweeter. It's gonna match the street um street series range this is how it comes so 
So it's not square, right? It's circle, but the box says it's square. Well, it does say it's also circle because you can run it both ways. There's a threaded thing right here. So you can get these and still run circle if you're not a square head. So it comes with a circle. Take that off. Your typical threaded style built bullet. And then you've got the square one. These feel really nice uh, to touch, to hand. These are really, really nice metal. It doesn't feel cheap at all. It's uh, very nice to the touch. If that makes sense. I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> so there you go. You can you can put it where you want. I'm pretty sure if you wanted to, you could use that back plate as a way to tighten this. That may be the right way, but we don't read instructions. Yeah, that's probably what it is. It's pretty cool. And it comes with a resistor, and this is what it says in the package. Contact support. If you have a problem with this product, return the product to the store. So... We'll be using those from what the guys were telling me uh, at Kicker. These are pretty bright, very bright, so you'll definitely want to use those blockers. Those, those, there's those. Some sketches. But cool, I got three thumbs up and four people in here. Hopefully, uh, that that fourth person is thinking about pushing that thumbs up for me so we can get even even numbers here these are more rcas i just showed you guys those more wire this is a uh, wire from kicker that has the rgb meaning it's got small wires inside the big casing i grabbed a spool of this because i figured we'll be putting some cool lights inside so let's see this is all my recones over here. But yeah, that's about the gist of it. Um, we could put one on the, on the... Oh, five likes and four people. Somebody's got some trickery going on here. Um, oh, look, look at there. Nightshade V6. One of the... I believe there's only two prototypes out right now. But we can... Uh, let me set this phone to five, five people and five likes. You guys are kicking it. Appreciate that. Probably uh, not the best live, but I'm trying to do better. So <laughs> let's see if I can get this tripod where you guys can see it. Bear with me here, guys. All right. Let's see here. Now I have to show you this because you might know it. If you're a kicker guy, this might be a kicker thing. This was brought to my attention this morning and I had no clue. So with you six people, you six awesome people, I want to show you. These terminals on these Solo X's, it might be on every single, every single kicker sub. I, I don't know, but I'm showing you. You see the little um, cutout they have here, a square cutout, square cutout, square cutout. Well, that's one side of the coil. Let's turn around to the other side. Solid and solid. So that's the other side of the coil. So if you get one, make sure you don't hook up the knockout and the solid. I mean, it would work, I guess, but probably it would be better if you run them like they should be. So I didn't know that. Six people in here, five likes. Come on, guy. Whoever you are, I know you can like that video for me. Give me, give me an even number here. <laughs> so let me put this back on the tripod and hook the speaker up. Hopefully I won't screw anything up on live. That would be embarrassing. But if you watch my TikToks, we do mess up a, quite a few things. Let's see. Negative. Positive.
Be the positive. Negative. No, nope, that's positive. So we got negative black, red, silver. Double check. Black. Okay, we're good to go. Let's see here. I know you guys are wanting some crazy stuff, but I'm not all set up for all that yet. here is probably from the sundown mid-ranges. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna grab the camera and get up in here closely. Thanks for sticking around. Still waiting on that that six light. Guys, go create a fake account and give me that even number. <laughs> Let's go ahead here. So we're gonna turn it up to a good volume. We're just playing the test tone right now. there if you heard I'll tell you what let me take it off this styrofoam because this styrofoam is making making noises that are not from this woofer give me a second guys give y'all any misinformation here oh. uh, useless information I actually got a cap 22 on it right now. fail you on that we clipping for sure you can see that coil on there clip, clip. yeah keep in mind guys um, this sub was straight out of the box and when you get them um, these things are pretty freaking tight when you go to push them um, when you get them out of the box I had one on all morning long just like low like this and it's loosened up quite a bit so oh got seven people on here somebody invited a friend thank you so because on the camera it doesn't look like it's moving much I'm guessing the frame rate but uh, it's moving quite a bit here in person uh, it's just a uh, optical illusion or something or the frame rate on on the phone go i can't really do much more than what it's doing because oh we got six and six somebody made a fake account 
week. Well, thanks for joining. That was just a quick video. I wanted to show you guys all the cool kicker stuff I got. It's a it's like kicker threw up in the warehouse here. So I just want to say um, thanks. Hope you guys want to follow the um, the journey of the new build, wasted information. I think you guys will love it. Um, the cap subs, what happened to the cap subs? Nothing, they're still on the website at caraudiobargain.com. You can grab your cab uh, gear there. Um, let me wipe this down here. So, but there you go, guys. I won't expect many people to join, but thanks for joining. I uh, just want to do a quick live here, just documenting that I've got all the kicker gear here. Uh, I'm sure there's more to come because I don't see a few things, but I'm pretty excited about this, guys. We're going to get a um, suspension work done. I plan on getting um, just Justin Haddock of 252 Customs over there in uh, Greenville, North Carolina. We're going to get a, a cage built in there. Uh, get it all ready um it's gonna be cool it's gonna be like clipo was when it first started where we can drive this thing to the drive through go pick up groceries uh stuff like that so this is gonna i'm pretty excited about this um i can't wait to uh, represent kicker and show them what we can do with it out here on the east coast in north carolina so i think this is gonna be a pretty cool build but thanks guys thank you six seven people for joining watching the video Make sure to subscribe to all my social media because I'll be posting videos on TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, straight clipping, S-T-R-8-C-L-P-N. You know what it is. So we'll talk to you guys later.